G'day, how are you going? Uh, this is going to be a desensitizing video. Uh, the desensitizing tool I'm using is a stick and bag. So it's pretty common, I think. You see other people using like a flag. <coughs> Press the bag and then the flag or something like that. It's just, it's just pretty much something that is quite foreign. Creates a weird noise, moves weird, creates a bit of energy. And I'm going to use that to uh, I'm introduce it to my horse. And use it as a tool to, to quiet my horses down, get them used to things moving around them, scary ob objects. And um, and I'm going to use it on this horse, it's just coming in now, it's come to me for pre-training, it's been broken in but I don't really know much about it so <clears throat> I'm going to use it today as a bit of a, um, a way to get to know it. Um, I'm going to be looking to see how hard it is for me to get the horse's attention and how hard it is for me to, to move its feet around. I'm going to be using a plastic bag as well as, a bit, like I said, it's a bit of an impulsion tool to get the horse to move around me. And I'm also going to be using a stick on the end of the bag once the horse starts moving around, getting control of its feet. As a I'm going to use it as a desensitizing tool to start touching it all over its body, see if it's got any touchy spots, um, see if the horse looks to kick out, whatever it might be. But at the start of when I'm going to desensitize my horses, I've got a a young breaker in or a horse like this, I'm going to use, like I said, use the stick and bag as an impulsion tool and I'm going to be, my timing is going to be a little bit off. So what I mean by that is I'm going to be, <clears throat> I'm going to be nagging my horse a little bit with the bag so it gets a little bit dull to, to the movement of it until eventually I'm going to start desensitizing it. So you see as I'm going through it, I'm going to start yielding the horse's hindquarters, moving around me, sort of lunging it, get a bit of a feel for how hard it is in the head collar to, to control. And as I go, I'm going to start, like I said, I'm going to nag the horse a little bit with the bag, so I'll desensitize it to the, to the bag until I get to the point where the horse um, is standing still and I can move the bag all around it. So I'm just going to send the horse off around me. <clears throat> just get a bit of a feel for how hard it is to control the head collar. It seems quite respectful to the head collar. The, um, the different cues I use to, to lunge the horse around. So, <clears throat> when I sit about, my well, pole's going to be off my bag and I'm going to nagging it a bit. So, what I mean by that is, <clears throat> whilst I'm using the, uh, the bag and the impulsion tool, I'm going to be moving the bag around whilst the horse is still moving. So, <clears throat> so usually when you want the horse to move away from me, you know, your object or yeah, if you ride the horse, you build in the side, or whatever it might be, when the horse moves, you want to take that pressure away to reward the horse, so the horse understand that's what you're looking for. So, whilst I'm using a plastic bag to move my horse forwards, as it's moving forwards, it's going to be moving the stick and bag around, creating this noise, so the horse starts to get desensitized to this bag moving. So, as the horse is moving around me, <clears throat> I'm going to start using the plastic bag to heal those hind paws around. See if I can get it to start facing up to me. So the short in that lead, tightening up that circle, and just shaking that plastic bag, putting a bit of pressure on the tip. So if it turns around and faces me, stop moving the feet, stop moving its feet and giving me two eyes, and I take that bag away and reward that response. So this is the start of the desensitizing. So this is where my timing of, of re releasing the bag and releasing the pressure starts coming in to reward the stop. So whilst I'm using the bag, like it says, an impulsion tool to get the horse to move. When he does give me the right response I want, which is to stand, give me two eyes, to stop moving his feet, I'm going to take that bag away. I'm going to start changing directions here. Move that bag to move him off. I'm just going to nag him a little bit his bag a little bit here as well, just to try and desensitize him to it. As he starts going around, I'm going to be more confident in what he's like. I'm going to start tightening up that circle, bringing him in a bit closer. Put a bit more pressure on his hip. You see, he's implied the answer to this pressure from the bag. That answer being turn around, give me two eyes, and stop moving his feet. So, <coughs> not quite. there we go. You give that response, which is what I'm after. Take the bag away, change direction. This is a good start, like sometimes if you get your horse in your water, you set the with a plastic bag and stick quite often, it'll just keep, you know, if the horse got plenty of energy and it's it keeping his elsewhere, you start moving around and, and you sort of find a bit of a losing balance so I make your horse sort of look and stand still. But using this impulsion drill, 
and you bring the horse around you, burning off some of that energy, quite often your horse will end up finding the answers to, to, to get the bag to, to stop moving <coughs> by itself. And at the same time, you're getting the horse to, to yield his hind quarters away from you, which is also the start of, of you know, you, you yield the hind quarters, breaking down those body parts in the ground. And it saves you sort of being in a situation where you're asking the horse to try and stand still, which is, you know, the alternative to this is you try and bag your horse down by, by having the horse stand there. <coughs> Move his feet and take it away. So, you know, you try, in this in this instance, you're killing two birds with one stone. You get the horse to line and move around, burn, burn off a bit of that energy. But at the same time, it gives you the correct response of what you're after when it comes to essentially, you know, you want you set the body in your horse. You want it to stop moving its feet and face up to you and stand still. You can reward that too. So you're, you're getting that impulsion drill, you're getting the horse to load your energy, you're getting to sort of feel what how good the horse is as far as how, how it wants to um, to yield and respond to that head collar. You can see how easy it is for you to, to move that horse feet around, how, how reactive it is. But because your climbing is there, once the horse starts moving around, whilst you're climbing, you take the bag away, you know, rewards that, rewards the horse that stops moving its feet and facing up to you. Very quickly, you'll start. You, this the horse will get dull with the sticking bag, and it'll start, you know, becoming easier and easier just to desensitise and have it stand still for you. So, pretty much what I'm trying to say is, you can use you can use your, your horse's natural feel of the bag to get it to move around and start lunging, give them those hind quarters, get control of it, and if your timing, in, if you change the timing a little bit of when you take it away, <clears throat> you can also use it as a desensitising. Um, exercise as well. So like I said, you know, your timing being whilst you, you're shaking the bag around and having the horse move and understanding the cues of what you're asking it to do when it comes to, to lunging and, and that first initial point up to in the direction you want it to go and have the horse move off. By nagging nagging the horse to the bag and moving the bag around whilst it's still lunging around you and then taking the bag away when um, <coughs> when the horse stops moving its feet and facing up to you you can still essentially use the desensitizing exercise at the same time. So by changing your timing of when you release the pressure um, and what you reward whilst when, when the horse faces up to you, um, you can also, like I said, you can kill two birds with one stone. So yeah, uh, getting the horse to move off, getting a bit of a feel for how it is, how it lunges, how, how much it's, um, it reacts to, to different energy around it. And when it stops and faces up to you, stops moving its feet, you take your bag away, you're rewarding that stop, you're rewarding it um, facing up and giving you two eyes and um, timing that you, you took that bag away also acts as, as desensitizing too. So once your horse starts burning off a little bit of that energy <coughs> and moving around, it's probably more likely to want to stand still when you're looking to desensitize. So like I said, you're moving around, the horse stops moving its feet, you can take, take the bag away, start rewarding that and building on, on that response. You know, from what, you, from what I can tell about this horse early on now, it's probably already been desensitized to a certain degree with a sticking bag. Um, it's not too worried about it, to be fair. But it's a good, good sort of opportunity for me. This also, like I said, to get to know a horse that I, I, I've never worked with before and to see what touchy spots there are and, and how well I can get it to move around me. And also start the, the early process of. Um, I'll be sensitizing him, but then when I get closer and start working with him with uh, the roller or, or the lead rope or put my hands on him, I, I can have a bit of an idea of what he's going to be, what he's going to react like. And if he gets a fright from somewhere out, out, um, you know, in the round yard or or in between his yard when I'm leading him, I've got a bit of an idea of what his response is going to be like and how <coughs> how reactive the horse is. So yeah. <coughs>